It's been a wonderful afternoon of learning for all of us uh, at the College Fair. And thank you, uh, the team at Admissions Campus, for hosting such a wide variety of speakers from different universities in India. Uh, our next guest is Dr. Girdhar Kini. Uh, he's, uh, he's from the Manipal Academy of Higher Education. Uh, doesn't require any introduction. It's, uh, it's, it's been around for so many years, and we'd love to know more about the diverse multidisciplinary education and undergraduate programs offered at Manipal. I remember in my time, people used to go study engineering and or even hotel management, and I'm sure things have evolved since then. So over to you, Dr. Kinney, and uh, yeah. we have the next 15, 16 minutes to uh, uh, learn more about your institution. Yeah. yeah, thank you very much uh, for the brief introduction. Uh, very good afternoon to all of you, and uh, thank you for uh, making it very convenient to be a part of this webinar session. Uh, the next 15 minutes, I'll be uh, making a few pointers about the diverse multidisciplinary options that uh, Mahe Manipal has to offer. In addition to that, what are the basic things you need to look at in the next few weeks or months uh, leading up to the leading up to finally making a choice of a of a program or the course of your choice? So the uh, the next few minutes, uh, we will be looking at the difference between a career and a job. Uh, the the career opportunities that you have which you have which you really need to think about in the coming uh, few weeks uh, the importance of uh, the the support systems the academics and so on and finally a few pointers about how to make a choice of uh, career in in the interim i will be uh, briefly discussing about a few things about manipal uh, manipal uh, probably is known uh, all these years for engineering medical dental and health science programs but we have grown much beyond that so we will just uh, highlight a few things about uh, what are the options that you can explore at the mahe manipal first of all uh, thank you uh, uh, all the uh, the team admissions uh, as well as the attendees apologies for the spelling mistake uh, for all for being a part of this webinar session okay the the success uh, the current definition of success is normally on the basis of how much percentages you score during your academic career uh, uh, even at the at the time of professional career how much of uh, the education level you achieve in terms of undergraduate postgraduate phd and so on but more also in in times when you are in a working part of your phase of your career you normally look at how much we earn but all the students, all the parents, please understand that the success should normally be measured by how much of a knowledge we acquire or we gather over the years, uh, the skills that we develop over a period of time, as well as the competency to develop or solve the problems that we always face in our day to day life. Uh, this is more important for the students point of view. Please remember that we need to look for a career, not for a job. And when we do so, we are looking at specialized learning and not restricting, our, restricting ourselves to the, the, the routinely followed uh, uh, career choices. Uh, once we follow the, the specialized uh, learning opportunities, it maximizes our networking chances. Uh, it, uh, the, it has a major impact on your resume uh, and it encourages risk taking. And the focus is mainly on experience. The focus is mainly on learning. Uh, it is a long term uh, activity. In short, it fulfills your passion. So for, for that, you need to understand yourself first. And then you finally need to look at the, the, uh, the, the career opportunity that you are uh, looking at. Nowadays, we have hundreds of careers options. You know, you can be a doctor, you can be an engineer, you can be an academician, uh, event manager, musician and so on. But how do we make a career choice when we really don't know what is to be done? So please understand that there is nothing like a good career. There is nothing like a bad career. The choices are generally made uh, on the, at a personal level, the self-interest, the pressure around you, you know, the current academic background and the niche domains you are particularly interested to pursue or even on non-personal things like, you know, economics, the financial status, or you're looking for only a particular university or only a particular course uh, based on certain uh, uh, parameters. Uh, more often than not, the choice of a career or a course is done on the basis of public perception, which is the, not the right way to do it, as well as the acceptability of the program amongst the friends, family and uh, the other networks. So the choice of a career needs to be done on basically who you are. You know, what is your interest? You know, what are the skills that you have? What is the value system that you have in your school uh, at home? You know, you need to pre make a prepare a career choice list, maximum five. And once you do that, you know, this is your choice. Once you do that, take your time, think about it, 
read it for some time read a lot about it and discuss a few things amongst your friends family and network and with the people who matter don't go on social media and stand uh, participate in forums wherein you post your questions and you get some answers you know you need to contact the right people and the first right people would be your parents the second right people would be your school counselor is the faculty in the school and the third one are the ones who are actually in the particular discipline of the domain the eligibility requirements for the particular program you know, the growth opportunity so these are some of the things you need to look at when you are trying to make a choice of career so a career should be satisfying it should be rewarding not only in monetary terms but in also also in terms of enjoyment in terms of joy in terms of fulfilling your passion if a right choice is made so please make that effort to choose the work you love so that you don't have to work for life now what are the options you have after 12th standard you can from, come from a science you can come from a commerce you can come from an arts background now here i would like to introduce manipal uh mahe manipal academy of higher education or it was established in 1993 as a deemed to be university we celebrated our silver jubilee in 2018 Uh, we were accorded the institution of eminent status by ministry of education government of india but manipal's journey in education started way back in 1953 with the establishment of kasturba medical college in manipal followed by kasturba medical college in mangalore and uh, manipal institute of technology the engineering institute in 1957 and the journey continued towards you know establishing 33 institutions offering 30 disciplines 350 programs over 12 program levels so we started in 1953 and we have grown to offer uh, programs in health sciences science technology management humanities liberal arts and social sciences so this basically shows how how much of a growth we have done and how spread we are across in all the three domains so if you have complete if you are on the verge of completing a plus 2 or if you are on your 11th then the the institution marked in the blue are of your interest medicine uh dentistry allied health nursing and life science we are adding a new institute manipal data medical college in the jamshedpur this year um, uh, from the uh, from the science technology and management engineering architecture design commerce hotel management and applied sciences apply the international center for applied sciences is a education in manipal and you transfer the credits that you earn in two years to a partner university abroad so it's basically a twinning program on the humanities side we have uh, media and communication humanities arts and design uh, uh, institute now if you are coming from arts and commerce background uh, the variety of programs that you can look at at manipal are some of the allied health programs offered by mchp the commerce programs bba as well as the bcom programs by the department of commerce uh, a five year uh, integrated program uh, called integrated program in management offered by doc and mim together we have uh, a bachelor of design interior design bachelor of design fashion design by the department of design uh, bachelor of hotel management and ba culinary arts by the hotel management institute waksha we have uh, ba media and communication and bsc animation by uh, uh, B, uh, the manipal institute of communication followed by ba humanities by manipal center for humanities as well as ba foreign languages by the department of languages so these are the broad programs that you can uh, look at if you are coming from arts and the commerce background now if you are coming from the science background with the physics chemistry and biology combination in addition to the the the, the programs which has the arts and the commerce requirements you can also look at the mbbs program the bds program the pharmacy programs the life science program bsc nursing uh, uh, then you have uh, the and majorly the allied health programs offered by mchp if you are coming with a pcm physics chemistry and maths combination then you can look at allied health the pharmacy program the engineering program btech the architecture br the design programs and so on not to forget the bwoc program the graphics and uh, creative design by manipal institute of communication as well as uh, some of the uh, the fine arts programs offered by uh, the srishti school manipal institute of design now please understand that uh, the academics matter a lot when we talk about academics the content of the course that you are intending to study the competency of the faculty who is going to uh, take you through the academic career the teaching learning process the delivery mechanisms the facilities that is offered by the institute the support systems are very much important when you make a choice uh, the hostel environment how clean how neat you know how calm um, noiseless uh, mentoring and counseling uh, opportunities 
the uh, healthcare fitness activities on the campus, networking opportunities via the student clubs, uh, the startup culture festivals, and 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 uh, not to forget the placement and the internship opportunities. Now, the general uh, uh, the uh, the process of uh, you know making a choice is via. Uh, uh, the institution reputation, the admission process, the fees, scholarship, academic infrastructure, hot, hostel environment, and so on. But you must look beyond that. And that is nothing but the next level called the experiential learning. It is nothing but learning through experience. Uh, the benefit of experience learning is you get to work on real world problems, bridges the gap between theory and practice. And when you work on real world problems, you are going to work in a team. It increases the engagement level. And since you are focusing on a particular problem, it personalizes the learning. The feedback, success or failure is instantaneous. Thereby, it accelerates the learning process. Most importantly, it improves your soft skills or in short, your employability skills, which the industry normally looks forward to. So once you do, uh, you know, get into experiential learning activities, the development of basic skills is very much uh, uh, prominent. You will learn to plan, you will learn to be flexible. Uh, adapt you learned as when you work in a team you will be able to motivate not only yourself but your team members generate the enthusiasm when you start achieving the results or if you don't um, communicate well teamwork display leadership in short you must be a lifelong learner remember our entire effort in our life is to be a problem solver so you must learn first to understand analyze and then take appropriate uh, actions to be a problem solver now, this experiential learning projects, as a simple example, on the MIT Manipal campus uh, started in 2007 with, uh, with the Formula Manipal. A group of students uh, proposed a project, got together, started everything from scratch, and uh, they set the trend for the others to follow. And in 13 years, we have 21 experiential learning projects. Uh, these projects have students not only from the domain department, but also from across the department and also across the disciplines under the university. This will help you interact with people and also get to understand the, the, the perspectives of what life is all about from students in the other disciplines. Now, with this, welcome to Manipal. Uh, if you have any queries, you can always uh, post your uh, mails to admissions at manipal.edu. Why Manipal? Well, you will get to feel life on the campus when you talk about infrastructure, laboratories, hostels, uh, you know, incubation centers, uh, cultural diversity. These are something you will actually feel on the campus, the placements, the student exchange programs and so on. In terms of rankings, we are very well ranked, not only nationally, but also uh, in terms of uh, the uh, international rankings as well. Most of our institutes are very well ranked when, whenever we participate, whether it is a medicine, dental, uh, pharmacy, uh, the public health, uh, the engineering school, MIT, architecture, hotel management. In short, we can say Manipal is home to top ranked institutions. Uh, internationally, we are very well ranked, not only in terms of subject, QS ranking, but also in terms of the, the various uh, 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 bullet points when it comes to the Times Higher Education rankings. Admission process is very simple. There are only two paths. One is through the general category and other one is a foreign bar NRA. We are very proud to say that there are no management quota. Everything has to come through a defined process. Some have Manipal entrance test. Some have a simple preparation of a merit list through your qualifying examination marks. Hence, please refer manipal.edu slash eligibility to know more about the eligibility requirements as well as the admission process. Scholarship, you are very much interested in. Uh, we have a host of scholarship. If you top your board, if you are if you are a child of a Manipal alumni, if you are taking admission under the foreign bar NRA category, it is more to do with incentivization of uh, performance. You know, if you miss the scholarship uh, at the entry level, that is in the first year, you can always perform well and try to uh, look for a scholarship in the second year, the achiever scholarship. So our scholarships are slightly different from what all other institutions offer in India. New additions to the Manipal uh, group, uh, Srishti Manipal Institute of Art, Design and Technology, which is based in Bangalore. Uh, Manipal Tata Medical College based in Jamshedpur. So these are the two additions to the Manipal family. Uh, these are the links that you need to bookmark. Uh, our applications for the 2021 admission cycle will start in the month of November. So you uh, a few days away. So you can start your homework and see what is your interest. And based on what we have to offer, you can always uh, uh, apply for the same. 
Our students are very much active on social media, especially the student clubs, uh, the departments, the institutes are all very much active. So please spend some time on Instagram, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn. Even uh, uh, we have a special uh, a Manipal channel called Destination Manipal, which will have video links of all uh, the, the videos of the institutes as well as some of the student clubs. So with this, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure interacting with all of you. And uh, we hope that uh, you have got some in insight about what you need to do in the coming days. In addition to that, you have uh, probably learned more about what Manipal has to offer. And with this, uh, you know, I uh, end my presentation. So thank you very much uh, for your patience and uh, wish you all the best. God bless you all.